touch that five for you. I ain't do that three, four times again. I testify for you. I told I like you that much. I do it all and I'm on fire. You're scared to do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nigel Haley and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a girls talk video and I really wanted to, you know, have somebody else to do it with, but I don't, of course. Um, so today we're just going to do it ourselves. Next time we'll do it a little bit different and have a friend or whatever do it with us because I feel like it's good to get like two perspectives instead of one so we're definitely gonna do that video on another day but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure you like comment and subscribe the first topic for today's video is going to be friendships i feel like this is like the most important um topic of them all just because like everybody needs a friend or friends i'm the type of person where i don't need a whole bunch of friends i don't have a lot of friends because i've cut a lot of people off because of how people like treated me or felt like they could treat me any type of way I don't do that like I feel like when you have friends when you have a friendship you have to really make sure that there are boundaries set in that friendship because some girls will like really like some girls will really like try to like play you or have this whole perception perception of you the whole time and that I just I don't know like it's just crazy like the things that I've been through with people that I've used to be friends with is like so crazy like I never wish that on any of my other friendships like I, I hope that never happens but yeah sometimes it happens if you gotta sell some stuff out and never talk again that's what it is but you just have to know who your friends is and I feel like if you do get it, if you get into it with your friend and it's worth talking about, go ahead and talk about that because I feel like as women, we will make up with a man a hundred times and then we get into it with a friend and then it's like, oh no, I'm done. I don't want to ever talk to that bitch again or that girl, excuse my language. But yeah, it's like, oh, I don't ever want to talk to that bitch again. Like, no, like fix that friendship. If it is worth fixing, fix it. Now, if it's not and you feel like they trying you too much then hey let it be what it is and that's the case with some of the people that I was cool with like it was just like yeah you really tried me because in friendships you have to respect your friend no matter what like you have to respect your friend and also in friendships you got to know that you can trust that way you're able to come to them because I don't like friendships where I feel like because I'm like an over teller like I'm going to tell you everything that's going on with me and I don't care because I like to get everything out. So if you have a friend where it's like you're telling them everything but they don't tell you anything it gives like kind of like sneaky because it's like what are you trying to collect on my information like are you planning for us to fall out that's how I feel honestly so I really don't like those friends um if you do have like a little friendship or whatever where it's like it just feels one-sided like you just know what to do like but with friends like you know know those boundaries set those boundaries um get to know each other you know and yeah love your friend simple and then, um, honestly, if you have, like, a problem with your friend, go ahead and speak about it. Don't let it build up. Because that's what happens to me. Like, I just let stuff build up instead of, like, talking about the situation then and there. Or, like, speaking on something then and there. Like, if I feel some way, like, I'm going to let you know. Instead of, like, holding all that in and taking all this bullshit from whoever your friend is and then... Like, they do one more thing, and then you, like, just spaz, and then it just turns into bad, and then now you guys can't even be friends, which I don't care. I don't care about none of the people that I'm not friends with. I really don't care. Like, never care. Like, I'm just that girl where I'm just not going to give a fuck. <laughs> like, we don't never have to talk again. Once I feel like you tried me or you disrespected me, we don't ever have to talk again. But that's why I say, like, you always got to confront situations when they happen and don't let stuff build up with friendships honestly that's gonna be that's a good like friendship I feel like even if like you're gonna feel this type of way or they're gonna feel this type of way about whatever like just go ahead and say how it is like the heck because and then another thing in friendships is also like 
don't be a yes man to your friend like let your friend know what it is if you're talking about your man or something personally you got going on or anything like that like speak about how you feel about it have that debate because that's going to show them that's going to show you that that's your real friend because you guys can have a conversation you guys can disagree and you guys can still be friends so yeah don't just be a yes man i don't like that because me personally i like to i like to hear how other people even though i be getting mad about some things like if i don't disagree with that i mean if i don't agree with it then i just feel like i don't agree with that but sometimes it is so good to hear from another person's side that way later on you can kind of reevaluate like am i tripping like should i have done that so yeah i do advise to have you a friend that is not a yes man because i definitely have one of those and yeah i don't care for it. um all right so the next topic is going to be confidence so for confidence you always have to have confidence in yourself like you have to know that you can accomplish something because if you don't you're not going to be able to do it i feel like like you have to okay this kind of goes with conf confidence is kind of like self-love too okay so confidence you have to have confidence with anything you do and you have to have confidence with yourself so like for example if you want to go to school or whatever like or anything you want to achieve if you want to do youtube whatever you want to do you have to have confidence in doing it that way you can achieve that goal like you have to know that you can really do it like and don't give up and don't let other people like bring you down that's where your confidence come in like i don't care what they say i don't care about this i don't care about that like i don't care about how this girl look like you just gotta love yourself and how you come and how you do things as in your work or how you look how you dress um, how you do your makeup, how you do your hair, anything about yourself, your weight. Like, you have to have confidence in everything. I'm not going to lie. Like, it be days where I be like, <sighs> I'm depressed. I don't like my weight. I don't like my hair. I hate the way I look. But it's like, I be having to pull myself back together because at the end of the day, I know that I am beautiful. And just because I don't have myself together in that moment does not mean I don't need, does not mean I need to like bring myself down about it. So like also to keep your confidence up and your self-love up, I feel like if you look good, you feel good. So really like sit in the bed all day. I have days where I just sit in the bed or I be at work and I be looking crazy. I don't get myself together. That is bro that brings my confidence so down like i don't be wanting to do youtube videos like it just interferes with everything so you have to get up every morning you have to get yourself together you have to do your hair put you on some lashes you don't have to put you on no lashes if you don't want to put you on some lip gloss like do whatever makes you feel beautiful that way you can have that confidence and walk around like yeah i'm that bitch like the hell and another thing is um never compare yourself to anyone I mean, you can always look up to some someone and like like look up to their life and because they're doing something that you want to do, you can look up to them. But don't ever compare yourself and feel like, oh my God, like I'm not there yet because everybody has their own timing. So you're going to get there when you need to get there. Okay. God has a timing for everybody. And today not, might not be your timing, but tomorrow might be your timing or next month or next week or next year. It doesn't matter. As long as you're trying and you know that you're trying, you're going to get there regardless. Elevating in life. And I feel like a part of elevating in life, you have to not compare yourself to others. And you have to do what you want to do. Um, and you have to find what you want to do. If it takes you a thousand times to find what you want to do to elevate your life, so be it. It happens. People go to school for all different things and don't find find their self and what they want to do until they're like in their 30s. Like that happens. I mean, not saying wait to your 30s. Like definitely go ahead and find out what you want to do with your life like in your 20s. Um, don't compare your, yourself to other people and 
And by that, I mean, like, if you see someone doing the same thing that you're doing, but they're growing faster than you, don't worry about that. Because God has his timing for everybody. As long as you know that you're doing everything that you need to do to get there, that's all that matters. So just make sure that you're on top of your stuff. Don't be too hard on yourself, but be hard on yourself, like, if that makes sense. Like, know that you got to get this done. Like, and then also, like, with elevating yourself, I advise, like, setting out goals, setting out a schedule. That way you're on top of everything and you don't feel like you're all over the place. Um, also, <sighs> elevating yourself as well. I feel like you do have to cut off certain people. Like, if they're not supporting you, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to cut them off like or distance yourself you don't have to cut them off but you can distance yourself from people if people don't support what you have going on distance yourself like some people they're only around for like the finished product the ending when you make it there they're not there through the thick and thin like from the start through the journey like they're just they're they're just not gonna like some people are just not gonna be there for you support you so you just have to know like sometimes you have to get the negativity and you have to get the people that's not supporting you away from you that way they're not a distraction or anything like you have to elevating yourself you have to realize that you do have to focus and you don't need any distractions so anything that is distracting you you have to get that out of your circle or away from you it doesn't matter what it is leave that shit alone like leave it in the past or leave it beside you come back to it like you feel me all right so topic number four we're gonna be talking about boys which i do have me a boyfriend and i've been having a boyfriend for a while now and i love him he loves me we're in love <laughs> so yeah i would advise staying away from boys as long as you can like just have your fun with them <laughs> don't get you a boyfriend like bro falling in love is like so hard because like once you're at that point it's like you know somebody and it's like it becomes more than you're just my boyfriend it's like you're my best friend so it's like everything that you got everything that you're going through you have to be willing to go through it like you have to be willing to, to go through so much when you're in a relationship like not saying like as far as like cheating or anything i mean if he's cheating or whatever then of course you need to like move the hell on like don't stay don't give that man no second chance honestly because when you give somebody a second chance they're always going to feel like they can do it again and i've learned that the hard way but some people i mean they just change you know boys they don't really or men whatever they don't really mature as fast as women. So, I mean, if you're willing to stay and, like, grow with him and, like, help him change, help him realize, I mean, you can, but that's not your job also. So, yeah, sometimes you might got to step back and remind that motherfucker who he with. That way he can get his act together. Sometimes that works. So, if you want to try that out, try it out. But, honestly, like, I advise to stay away from a relationship as far as you can. I mean, as long as you can, um, especially like when you're younger. I mean, especially if it's like really toxic, which a lot of toxic relationships go on around this month. Okay. But yeah, you have to keep your relationship like interesting because if you don't, it's going to get boring. And that's usually where the cheating comes in and you don't want the cheating come in. So you got to make sure that your relationship is like interesting. Like, you guys need to be going on dates. Make sure he's taking you on dates. Make sure he's buying you flowers. Don't have to be every day. Don't have to be every week. But, like, this has to happen. Like, if he's not doing none of that and you guys are just in a relationship having sex, it's no reason to be with him. Like, make sure he's treating you right, for sure, okay? So, he needs, to, like I said, he needs to be buying you those flowers every once in a while he needs to be taking you on a date it doesn't matter if you go to a basketball game it doesn't matter if y'all go skating <laughs> if you go to the movies if you go on a vacation like whatever it is if you go to a goddamn picnic if he cooks for you like as long as he does something that's special i noticed that a lot of girls be expecting dudes to like just spend all this fucking mystery money or whatever 
some girls like oh i would never go to that restaurant i would never go to this restaurant don't be that way to a man like already like it's a standard where they already feel like they have to do everything so don't be that way to them okay unless that motherfucker give you unless he giving you a hard time then you know give him a hard time but if he's not giving you a hard time and he's a sweetheart yeah you need to really appreciate that because it's not a lot of them a lot of them change up <laughs> but yeah okay so the next topic topic five is going to be moving on whether this is from a friendship or a relationship um when you're moving on you have to delete everything out your phone the pictures the text messages and don't look back at it <laughs> And I also feel like a mature way to move on is really having that conversation and understanding each other and realizing like this is not healthy for us and we need to let this go. I feel like that's a big part of moving on is a conversation needs to be had. Like you have to have some type of closure. Um, I mean, if you don't have closure, you know, it's, it's okay like to cry. Like call your friends. Like I said, I... Yeah, I'm an overteller. I'm going to tell. I'm going to talk about everything that I'm going through. So if you need to talk to somebody, talk to somebody that you trust. And that way you can let all that out. Because honestly, moving on and keeping everything in is not going to be an easy process. It's going to be easier if you let all that out. If you need to cry, need to talk to anybody, do that. Don't let anybody make you feel like, like bad about moving on like crying or feeling away about moving on from somebody because they never know like what type of bond you guys really had so just make sure that the person that you're talking to is gonna have like advice for you and be a listening ear and actually like just talk to you like actually like understand you talk to you understand both sides like you know so yeah i feel like it's a big part of moving on is having someone to talk and letting all that shit out. 